So, can your restlessness be taken away and brought to restfulness? Or simply the question is just this, you are giving it too many names. Don't give it too many names for your problems. Your problem is just this, your body and your mind are not taking instructions from you, that's all. Don't give it too many names. You give it too many names because you like to decorate your problems. If you decorate your problem, you may not want to get rid of it, yes? If you decorate your problem too much, you may not want to get rid of it. This is very simple. Your body is not taking instructions from you, so... Your mind is not taking instructions from you, so... If these two things were taking instructions from you, if you want action, intense action. Do not want action, absolute stillness. Both would be possible, isn't it? Hmm? So the essential problem is they are not taking instructions from you. Why are they not taking instructions from you? Because you are like a supercomputer without a keyboard, <laughs> do you understand? This is supercomputer without a keyboard. You know, if your head doesn't work, people do this, it doesn't work that way. This is not where the switch is. <laughs> Have you seen people scratching their head when it doesn't work? It's not going to work like that <laughs> So if you only had a keyboard, you would type out what you want. Now because you don't know where it is, you're punching it all over, all kinds of things are coming out. Once in a way things that you want happen, most of the time things that you don't want happen. So the fire… the thing is to find access to the keyboard, how to operate this machine, which is what we are trying to do, so just pay attention. We will give you a keyboard, then you type out whatever you want. I don't want to decide what you should type, you type out whatever the hell you want, but what you want should happen, yes? If your body and your mind does not do what you want, what is the point having them, losing them is better? No wonder people are talking about no mind. It's not far before, when… when it becomes very torturous, they will say to be or not to be, what they're saying is no body, yes? <laughs> when somebody says to be or not to be, what they're thinking of is a no body state, isn't it? No body, no mind state will anyway come, okay? <laughs> don't… don't ask for it, it will come anyway. Unasked, it will come and knock on your door one day. Till then, the thing is to use these two wonderful things that you have and see what you can do with this. So, it is just that for one person, the keyboard may be touch mechanism. Or for one person, it's like this, just a verbal instruction, your phone works. Hmm? You have a phone like that? With verbal instruction, it works. There is one, if you just lightly touch like this, it'll work. There's another one, if you do this, this, it'll work. There are some, <laughs> you have to do that. Have you seen like a 1970s, some espionage movie or a James Bond movie, they have a phone which is this big. <laughs> have you seen? <laughs> have you seen these things? <laughs> this big phone, bigger the phone, the longer it is going, that's what they're meant to say in those movies. Big phone like this. Now only this much phone, hands free, you can speak. Because technologies have improved, accordingly in each person, it may be different kind. One may just change by instruction, another needs light punching, another needs little more, another needs… <laughs> different kind of people. So, whether you need just two days yoga or two weeks yoga, two months yoga, two years yoga, we can decide that after two days are over. If two days are enough, fine. That's wonderful. If you need more, we must do more. But is it very, very important your body and your mind 
takes instructions from you, you and you alone and nobody but you. Yes or no? Very important, isn't it? We must do that.